stupid guy. Oh, this is real fair. You're only 200 pounds heavier than me. Shh. I'm not hurting him. I know. Just shh. What are you doing? I want everyone to be real quiet. Uh, hello? Everyone settle and just listen. What are we listening for? Silence. Total silence. That's impossible. Absolute silence doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, there's always something making noise. Exactly. So when grown-ups say they want it quiet, there's no way. Because there's no such thing. I'll remember that. But what if there could be total silence? What if you could stop every sound, every buzz, every breath? He couldn't. Where there's life, there's sound. Say that another way. You take away sound, and you take away life. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story Tale of the Quiet Librarian. Come along, children. Don't lag behind there, children. Come along, children. Pay attention, and we're off to the children's library, where I hope you'll spend many hours. Listen up, everybody. For your history project, I've assigned teams. Check this list for your partner. I got Barry Evans. <laughs> Who'd you get? I'm with Jace Elman. Ooh, Jace the face. Lucky you. Not. What's wrong with Chase? I think he's kind of cute. Yeah, he thinks so, too. He's way conceited, Lori. He's not. Trust me, if his head got any bigger, they'd put him in a parade. <laughs> Lori the Icicle Nick. Sorry, Jace. Lori's OK. Come on, her head's got too many points. <laughs> if it were any bigger, they'd put her in a parade. Check this out. My name is Lori Nathan. I may be a geek, but that's OK, because I'm way smarter than you. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. Um, we're just talking about me. I heard. So, uh, looks like we're gonna be working together. Wow, I feel so privileged. What did I tell you? The ice cream. Don't go too far.
We need these books from downstairs. It's not too much trouble. I know how busy you are. I'm just trying to get you to lighten up. Don't bother. Get the books. Why don't you get them? Because I'm already doing all the work. Because you won't let me do anything. Because maybe I don't want to flunk. Let's flip for it. Heads I go, tails you go. Oh, come on, live dangerously, all right? Hello? Hello? Oh, goodness, you frightened me. Oh. May I help you look for something? Uh, no thanks. time. Did you find... I didn't know you wore glasses. Uh, I don't. Usually. <sighs> Why are you so jumpy? I'm not jumpy. What do we do now? I do research. You sit there and don't bother me. Do you mind? Why are you treating me like a kid? Because you're acting like one. That's I'm out of here. take my books? They're not your books. I need them to write my report. Our report? Look, this team thing isn't gonna work. Give me the books and I'll write the report for both of us. Maybe I should write. Well, one of us has to, because we sure can't do it together. Fine. I didn't want to work on a team anyway. yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's right. I must have left it in the basement. Are you serious? I need those notes for the paper. Go get it. Hey, I got practice. You want to write the paper, you get it. But you left it there. That's because I'm not as smart as you are. I forget things. I act like a kid. All right, all right, we'll both go. You got to show me where you left it. I told you, I got practice. Chase, I got to write that paper tonight. All right. I'll meet you there later. I can't get there till 7. I'll see you at 7. Fine. Hey, Lori. You really got to lighten up. <sighs> Why didn't you check the closing time? 
Hey, you said 7 o'clock, not me. I'm gonna flunk. I've never flunked anything in my life. No, you didn't do too hot in the teamwork department, remember? <sighs> There's nothing else we can do except... Maybe I can open one of those windows. You can't be serious. That's, like, illegal. You got a better idea? Jace, don't. It's OK. I forgot the notebook. I'll get it. You don't have to. Sure I do. I don't want to be responsible for the one and only time you ever flown. We're out of luck. Paper's due tomorrow. I can't write it without those books. You're a genius. Can't you just make it up or something? You really think I'm some kind of computer, don't you? Look. I must have loosened it up. Machine. It used to be right there. Yeah. Notebook. Right. That's uh, in the basement. Would you leave it? Over there, I think. But everything's different. What do you mean? It wasn't like this yesterday. There were a lot more books, and that room wasn't there. Look at this. 1910. It's got to be some phony antique. Hey, maybe we shouldn't mess with Come on. in the library. That's not Mrs. Hurley. There's room for two more. <coughs> Who are you? Get away from me. Who was that? What happened 
your voice. Oh, come on. Try the others. What are you looking for? The phone. They're gone. The fire alarm. It's gone too. Everything modern is gone. Jace, what is going on? Silence is golden. kids doing in here? How did you get in? What the? Uh, that was a... My voice is back. Uh, mine too. The reading room. We found the missing kids. There's a door behind there. Hurry! This door hasn't been opened in years. Are you guys okay? Yeah, I think. Look in here.
It's like a tomb in here. I gotta call this in. You kids stay put. Whoever they were, I think they're free now. They're never going to believe us, are they? I'm not sure I believe us. You know, maybe we're not such a bad team after all. Is this anybody's? My notebook. You kids can go now. If we need you, we'll call. We still have to write that paper. We? Come on, let's live dangerously. story. Yeah, I never knew silence could be so creepy. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Speaking of libraries, I have some books I have to return. Does anyone want to keep me company? But it's way past closing. I was going to drop them in the night slot. Who's with me? I got to go. Yeah. Oh, and look at the time. Uh, got to roll. Uh, see you guys next time. Hasta la vista. Tucker, uh, bye. Come on, just leave me.